Hi, welcome back to White Coat Medicine Talks. This is Dr. David Cruz. Today is our part three video on dementia. And today I want to talk about ashwagandha. This is a supplement that is very beneficial for your brain. And we want to, even though it has many benefits, we want to really focus on the brain. If you remember from our first uh, video on dementia, we talked about the amyloid precursor protein, which are, is found on your dendrites, on your neurons in your brain. And we talked about this being a signaling protein. And what it means is that if it's broken in one part, it will create more dendrites, more neurons, more connections with other nerves, and cause increased memory. Or if it's broken in another place, you're gonna start getting the amyloid plaques, and cause cell death and your mitochondria is not going to work very good and as we talked about the mitochondria being the powerhouse of your cells which produces a lot of the energy so if you break down the mitochondria you're not going to do very good now this is the site where ashwagandha works it's going to break down this protein at the right area the alpha area and it's going to help produce more synapses and it's going to help more dendrites to form and more connections to be made in your brain. At the same time, it's gonna help clear out the beta amyloid or the bad amyloid that would create the plaques. So you're gonna get those benefits from this medication. In addition, an added benefit is that it's gonna control the cortisol level in your body. As we know, if you're under a lot of stress, your cortisol level will be higher and a high cortisol level has been associated with decreased short-term memory as well. So if we help it in that way in decreasing your cortisol and you're also increasing your connections between your nerves, you're doing a lot of great things for your brain. Ashwakanda should be given 500 milligrams twice a day at a, at a minimum. There are some precautions if you are taking some aspirin or antiplatelet medications. And as always, make sure you discuss this with your doctor before starting any type of over-the-counter medications so that you can get together to make sure that there's no contraindications with some of the other medicines you are taking as well. I think starting with ashwagandha would probably be a good start and this is something that you should always discuss with your doctor as well, of course. However, but as we go along, we're going to start learning about more medications and more supplements that may be able to be very beneficial to your memory and to help you along and hopefully try to counteract the problems of dementia. As always, we appreciate all your comments and uh, thank you for watching this video. This is Dr. David Cruz for White Coat Medicine Talks and we'll see you next time.